Um, I note that there is, um, these are tongued, but I think possibly there's a slur. to think they're slurred because in bar one two three four five six after the uh, double bar line it is slurred and everything after that is slurred so that's just something to note so let's just play through it and we'll see how far we get um, we don't need to do it at speed. straightforward. Um, now we're getting into chromatics. Um, we've got um, an A7 chord uh, going down and then an A major chord going up. And it's quite, there's quite a deal of chromatic, chromaticism here. chords G major E flat major G major D7 uh, <coughs> and uh, then a G diminished seventh going up to the top B flat so <laughs> basically playing what we were at the beginning <coughs> so that's why I thought the um, that the, the first one was slurred fairly straightforward uh, D7 chord actually that's a diminished chord Okay, so 
so that's um, that's the first part. We now go to the polonaise. Okay, so now we come to the polonaise. Let's see how I sight read this. I'll choose a nice fast tempo and see how it goes. Um, note how I'm um, picking out the different patterns. So if you um, if you practice a lot of scales, you'll start to recognise patterns, and that makes it a hell of a lot easier to uh, to sight read. So. various variations of G major in there. Now the cadenza uh, which is uh, a dechromatic going up but mainly G major stuff going down. broken chord. <laughs> now we come up to um, the last section. <coughs> character in the piece. Um, now the Andante Compressivo, Con S Receiver, <coughs> we can really ham this up. I don't think it needs to be strictly in time, so caress the note and um, really make them full, uh, full bodied. So this C sharp, make it really full bodied. 
um, and come off on the D. And uh, in the next phrase, really hit the top D. taking a little bit of time um, at the top and so really uh, lean into this and we've got to breathe there somewhere as well but um, here, really, really lean on that. And breathe here. So maybe change your tone colour there. <coughs> so you still got the flu. Um, the, the E flat and the D really ham those up before returning to the main theme again semi-quaver in time. In the tempo de polonaise you want a um, really strong uh, yum ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. Under, be aware that underneath you probably go yum ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum,
I'd be inclined to slur that. a slight crescendo through that accelerando. section. And uh, make those uh, semi quaver staccato as light as possible. Now I've got a cadenza again. Um, D chromatic. D major going down. Uh, G chord. Now we're into the, the final section. so it'd be a lot faster. So we go just straight G major scales. So there we are. Um, I've sight read um, and analysed the Andante and Polonaise by uh, uh, La Thier. Um, hope that's been helpful and uh, bye for now.